All right, I just finished my workout, got my coffee here. Uh, I want to answer some questions. This is Stephen Williams, founder and president of CreditRepairShop.com. Uh, please like the video. I really appreciate it. It helps us get uh, be able to get this information to more people. Uh, I really appreciate appreciate everyone that is watching the videos, that is asking questions, because that's what this channel is here for. And in today's video, I'm going to answer a question. That's all I'm going to stick to, just answering questions. Uh, one person put. From my last video, they said uh, that I started talking about debt uh, at 11 minutes and 24 seconds, and I'm going to start paying more attention to that and listing them on the video so people can uh, skip to it. I, I want to uh, take into account for people's time also that they want, want me to get to the point on that. Uh, so here's the first question that we got. How can I get a credit card? Remove, let me just get this real quick. Let me move this down. Oh, okay. They had a credit card in 2013. They wanted to know how can they get it removed off their credit reports. And re remember, if you don't do anything for your, uh, you know, any challenges, no disputes, no validation, anything, uh, information, has to be removed off your credit reports in seven years. It just has to be good or bad. It's going to come off of there. That's the statute of limitations to be able to be reported on the credit report. So, but we've been seeing that the credit bureaus, some of them are either, you know, they take a little bit longer or they, you know, for some reason they don't get to it when they're supposed to and have that removed. Uh, but you simply could just write a letter to them stating that, it, that it's Past the statute of limitations according to their rule, and that it needs to be needs to come off. Now, something that you may need to pay attention to is the exact month. So it's been seven years technically, uh, but sometimes the hit the month may play a difference. But I don't think if you had it in 2013, it, it's 100% uh, it should be able to be taken care of. Uh, let's see here. The next one is I basically owe the difference. This was one from uh, auto repossession. <clears throat> Person said, get this off of the screen. What's going on with this here? But basically, uh, the person said that they had an auto repo and they're wondering if they pay off the deficiency balance. The deficiency balance is the difference between when the car is sold at auction, they repo a car, take it, sell it at auction, and then there's an amount if they don't sell it for the amount that was owed on the loan or the fees. You never know what they might attach to it. That's called a deficiency. And so they will usually come after you for it or they'll sell it to a debt collector and they'll come after you for it. These can always, number one, be settled. Uh, I always tell people start very low. Uh, on this one, I said start at 25%. Uh, it could even be lower than that, but just to be respectable, 25%. If it's with a debt collection company, you could start lower because they're buying the debt for a lot lower. Um, and then they had a question, can they reopen an account at the same bank after they do that? Yes, you usually can. It's still going to be up to them. But yes, if you resolve the situation, they're not going to usually hold it against you. All right, the uh, next question was, they had a default judgment over something that they uh, something that was signed in 2007 and they wish they could change this and then they said that they filed bankruptcy and it's still there because it's a private student loan and they said I guess the saying is true when you know better you do better number one I tell people my clients and all of this don't co-sign for other people don't post, I don't care. I didn't do it for my children. Uh, I tell people don't do it for their children. I just had a gentleman that is retired. He's a long time customer. I cleaned his credit up way back. I think it was like 2007. Uh, but he co-signed for his granddaughter for a student loan. She didn't pay it. She's often working in Chicago. 
and he's stuck with the balance on the student loan, and she's not even making any effort to pay it. And uh, luckily, it's a private student loan, and you can do settlements on private student loans. The federal loans, they are just sticking to their guns. They want as much money coming in and payments as possible. That's going to be with you all the way until you die if you have a private student. I mean, if you have a public federal student loan. But a private student loan, if you file bankruptcy and they didn't include that in the private uh, student loan in your bankruptcy, you need to go back and get that amended if possible, if it's not past the uh, period of time because private student loans can be placed in the bankruptcy. Uh, let's see, the next one was, the person said that they accumulated a whole bunch of uh, inquiries from applying for business credit. Can they get those deleted without having accounts closed? If, if, you, if they gave you credit, they will close your account if you dispute the inquiry. So don't do that. What you should do, once you've got the credit that you wanted, now you're into another phase of building your credit. You've gotten approved, which is the step one. Well, step one, clear your credit. Step two, get more credit, if it's business credit or a consumer credit. Step three is to manage the credit that you got. And because you're doing business credit, you're going to want to continue, but you need to manage what you got. It's going to probably be a little pause period while you utilize the business credit that you got, and then you start to add on to it with whatever game plan that you have uh, for your business credit. Uh, the next one here was uh, one here. Uh, I just want to say thank you for the person that was a nurse. Uh, I did put a comment there, but they've been flagging the videos that I mentioned anything about what's going on uh, health-wise in the, in the market right now. So I'm not going to mention that, but I do appreciate it, and I did write a comment there. Thank you. Uh, the next one here was they want me to do a video on how to use your three scores while fixing the credit. I will do that. Thank you. That is the uh, bureau that we use, and I'm going to show you how you can read that information that that's a good question I'm gonna, I'm gonna make I'm gonna I mean a good request I'm gonna make a video showing you how to use that also to show you the comment section and everything on there so you'll know how to read those reports uh, the next one here I think we hit it I think that was all the questions there so Again, to close out the video, please like the video, please post your comments, share, please subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it, and if you need help with your credit, go to thecreditrepairshop.com, if you need your credit reports and scores, please go to your, the number three, scores.com, grab your reports, because that's where everything starts, that's where all of the information is, and that's where you can start building your file, building your case, building your credit repair, uh, strategy to get your, to get you where you want to be. And, uh, I would like for everyone to stay safe and thank you and have a great day.